Welcome back to The Rock Academy. In this video, we're gonna cover how to order The Rock Surveyor. On the last videos, we showed you how to create a new project, how to upload LiDAR data into that project, how to define its projection, reproject the data, then how to add ground control points, and then how to change any sort of vertical elevation changes you need to do to make your data set perfectly in line with your ground control points and save that. Now that your data set is looking great, it's time to order The Rock Surveyor. For this, you come over here to this bottom right process button, click that, and you have Rock Surveyor here on top, and you click order. Now here you can change what contour intervals you'd like. And this changes dynamically depending on what projection your data set's in. So for this, this is in a California state plane, and this is measured in feet. So you can see here we have 0.5 feet, one foot, 2.5, five. You can select whatever you'd like. But for example, if your data set's in a UTM projection, that's measured in meters. So this will reflect that feet or meters difference. So for this, I'm gonna say it's a one foot contour that I need. And see, we can see here it's one token per 10 acres. There's 91 acres, it's gonna cost 10 tokens. And I got a good balance left over, it's gonna be great. So the deliverables are a ground classified LAZ file, the shape file containing the geometry data, this is all the contours, the DBF attributes, this is also contours. So basically the SHP, DBF, and SHX, this is all the contours. And then we have the DEM, digital elevation model, in the form of a TIFF, as well as an accuracy report if you have the business plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my one foot contours and I'm going to click order. But you can see right here, it says before ordering, verify your project's data, projection and reprojections are correct. You will not be able to change these after you've ordered this deliverable. Again, this is why I said, when you upload, define your projection, reproject, add ground control points, change that data set if you need to, save that, and then you can order this. So that's the order you need to do things. You need to make sure that the data set looks great, and then you order. So I'm gonna go ahead and click order. So now the Rock Surveyor is processing, and the way it's doing this, it actually does it through our Rock AI engine, and we do most of that work through AI, but once that AI step gets done, we actually have a QC QA team that goes in and verifies every data set. That way it's done correctly every time. So you'll see right now it says classifying ground, and once the AI is done, it'll actually show you the final results that we did with the AI, but know that we have a QC QA step that's still gonna happen in the background. So at this point, we're just gonna wait for it to finish and we're gonna have our full deliverables for this project. So now you can see, not only did I just record this whole video just now, but also this is the speed at which you can get deliverables from LiDAR data using the Rock Cloud. It's an incredibly scalable, fast, and a great solution to be doing LiDAR processing. And then the best part about this is whenever this is all done, I can just click that share button and share these results to my end customer. And then also they'll have access to the viewing the LiDAR data, they'll have access to the ground control points, they'll see the GCP point reports, the contours, the DEMs, it's all right there for them. So that was a quick tutorial on the Rock Surveyor and the Rock Cloud. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. I'm gonna make a few more of them to explain some more difficult concepts to understand. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you here next time here on the Rock Academy.